Okay, so this is a bit further along. Just testing out. I finally got the joystick to work with the uh, EasyB controller. Uh, I'd had it working um, a year or so ago, and I, I completely forgot how to do it. And then um, the, I lost the files and all the information with my last uh, workshop computer hard disk failed because I didn't have a proper backup so, <laughs> so always have a backup um, so I've just had to sort of re-teach myself how to do it uh, and I've finally got there um, it all slowly came back I'm using a PlayStation 4 um, uh, handset uh, to get that to talk to the um, Windows 10 which is what I'm running I'm going via uh, a little program called DS4 Windows which gets the uh, computer to recognize the handset. I think if you plug in um, the Microsoft uh, handset, I think it'll probably work for, uh, straight off, which I might actually go and buy because this is my daughter, so she may get a bit uh, funny with me walking off with this. Um, so I might buy a different handset, but I've got the PlayStation one working. Got it recognized um, after rebooting the computer a couple of times just to get all the uh, everything to recognize everything. So first I've got the Windows 10, my little nook, to recognize the, that it had a joystick on there. Um, still having a bit of a problem getting it to uh, Bluetooth connect to it, uh, but I'll work on that in a second. So it's just hardwired, but I know I did get it um, wirelessly connecting last time. Um, so I know I can do it. So I've got um, the uh, joystick now controlling uh, the um, Easy B. So if I just pan up, you can see the Easy B software on the screen there. And um, so just on here, it will recognize the uh, the EasyB controller. So just pan down, you'll see, I've actually got it connected, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you it actually working. So I've got it now, uh, everything powered up, re uh, connected to the uh, to the two wheels, which are just bolted together upside down. So ask me, controlling it via the joystick, that's forward, and back uh, and left and right so they, they should go there they go that's one left and that should go in opposite directions on there so I've actually you've actually got full movement around so that that's working I've put uh, I've, I've slightly changed the uh, the um, maximum minimum speeds in software on there because you can go from naught to 180, I think it is. Uh, so I've, I've just dropped that down because it was just a bit too violent. So, but I think all of that will uh, be um, to be set when I've actually got it uh, plugged into the unit. You know, when when it's actually physically on the R2D2, I'm trying to drive along because obviously with a bit of load on it, it'll make a bit of difference. So I've I've, I've done that. Um, I've also connected in. Um, well, I'll actually show you. Uh, the joystick working as well so let me just zoom up back onto there and you can see it on the uh, you can see the blue uh, mark on the joystick on the left hand one the left hand uh, you can hear a little uh, servo moving as well that's the green movement going on so I've got I'll just pan down <laughs> So I've got uh, the I've got a servo just to just to connect to work out how to remind myself how to connect it, uh, which I've done. So I've just got uh, control over that. It's a bit jumpy, but I've just I've, all I've just I haven't got the um. Uh, I've just, well, I've I've put in I think uh, twenty to one hundred and twenty degrees in there just so to get it to. Uh, that works so I've got both uh, joysticks working but that's not quite what I want to do um, I want to have this as the uh, siren so rather than that being a servo I want that to drive uh, the the second um, joystick port to drive a uh, uh, a saber tooth, uh, well, a Siren 10 controller rather than a, um, a servo, uh, and I'm not quite sure how to do that so that's my next uh, um, a little bit of research because the software set up to uh, drive uh, a movement control on joystick one and a servo on joystick two and the movement control is fine because I wish I can drive that but you can't have more than two movement controls uh, you know I need a second movement control from what I understand on the Siren 10 so I've just got to sort of look into that
the, the plan today was to get uh, control over the uh, over the wheels with a joystick, which is what I've managed to do. And as I said, I've done. I've, I've, I've managed to get this to drive servos in the past, so I'm pretty sure I can, you know, get that. But it was just a question of uh, getting some drivers to uh, talk to each other and uh, uh, get the. Um, um, Windows tend to spot the uh, joystick, and once that's spotted, reboot the whole system. So, uh, and then it suddenly all worked. So it wasn't it wasn't as bad as uh, it uh, as I was expecting in a way. So that's uh, that's where I'm at the moment. So um, I've just got to try and work out the the second control, as I say, for the for the Sara, which will do the um, dome rotation, and then I've got everything working on there. And I think I can also uh, um, assign these buttons as well. Uh, to um, various things or to other servos or to other actions or whatever um, obviously if I was using the um, the Arduino um, Padavan system it would all be programmed in but uh, I'm not so I'm sort of re reinventing it with with the uh, uh, with the easy controller uh, and it's going all right so um, that's where I am at the moment Okay, managed to uh, put the, the tar on this one finally, which has been sitting in a drawer for ages, uh, which is quite a struggle, but it fits perfectly. I found the best way to do it, actually. I heated the the, the, uh, the rubber over my uh, room heater <laughs> and warmed it right up um, and uh, managed to ease it on there. Uh, I didn't want to obviously melt the PLA, but it's fine. I don't know if it wasn't going to melt the PLA, but it suddenly just popped on. Once it got to a certain temperature, I could push it on. So that's ready to uh, put back into a, a assemble the, the wheel again, because that's been the nagging me just sitting there. But that's now fitting fine. So I'm just going to put all that back together again. OK, this is a test of the relay circuits. I'm going to trigger the whole thing via smaller relays, which will probably trigger the larger relays. Uh, I've got the larger relays on the board here, just pan up there. That you can see, uh, which these are the main um, uh, high current relays, which will be turning on the main boards and uh, uh, and, 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 and ancillary equipment. But for the moment, I think I might control the whole thing via just these uh, smaller relays straight from the uh, uh, ECB controller. I originally had a, a relay in here that uh, required uh, taking to ground to trigger, but it's easier actually uh, using this relay ball, which I had a line around as well, that you can actually um, control either high or low. So I've got it on high, so when, when it goes high, it'll just trigger rather than taking it to ground. Uh, it was just a slightly easier and simpler to configure uh, than the, uh, the Arduino style uh, relay cards, which I've got here, which is that style they're, they're all I mean they're, this was five quid and I think this is uh, four pounds or three quid or something so there's a very little difference in price these take um, once you've got power to it these these activate uh, to ground which is normally the way you'd use them I use these uh, work sometimes activating to ground which are really good but this one you've actually got the choice uh, via these uh, jumper switches here whether you take it to ground or high so in other words whether you um, ground an input to in, uh, enable it or put 5 volts in to enable it or whatever the voltage is. Twelve. These are 12 volt relays so it's either high or low. Um, but because this is, um, it's just simpler to do this high so this actually turns on the voltage. I tried it with taking it to ground and it gets a bit complicated. I think you need a separate power supply. There are ways to do it but it was a lot simpler just using it this way. So I'll show you how this works. I've just got a, a, a small little um, uh, sequence programmed into the EZB just to, to test it. So if I start that up. Relays are all now up. Colin will now start his power up sequence. Relay one on. This will power the motor boards. Relay two on. This will power the feed motor relays. Relay three on. This will power the dome motor relay. Relay 4 on. This will power all ancillary equipment. Relays are all now on. Well, I've got that on a loop, so just keep going around for test purposes. But you can see how that's going to work. So um, I do actually have a four-way version of this uh, lying around here somewhere, uh, which I don't know what I've done with. But um, you can buy these at eight or fours. But I've just left the. I'm, I'm not going to use the rest of the four, but I might as well leave the whole board in there. So that's that tested. Uh, swing around to here, 
you've probably seen uh, most of this working. I'm still working on this, as I say. I've managed to get, or I did earlier, uh, just uh, pan in. Uh, this is the dome motor running off the uh, the siren. Um, I've had uh, a few issues trying to get this to consistently run, uh, which I'm still working on. I had it working earlier, I was going to show you, but it's suddenly, it's suddenly decided not to work. So I still need to do it a little bit more. It's all to do with the um, uh, naught to, you know, anything less than well, 70 uh, on, the re uh, on the servo setting uh, is reverse and anything above that is forward. But trying to get those settings right. Uh, seem to vary because uh, I've tried uh, continuous servo rotors uh, relays continuous servos which I can get to work fine off the EZB trying to get this to work uses slightly different um, number sequence and then I'm trying to use uh, a, uh, a PlayStation 4 controller so the combinations of the different controllers and the different uh, settings uh, it's got quite interesting. <laughs> trying to sometimes it goes forward, sometimes it goes backwards. It does actually work. I'm just trying to get a consistent setup so I can uh, control it from my PlayStation 4 remote and uh, program it into a sequence off the EZB. And that's where I'm having a few issues. Just getting the, the combined control uh, to be consistent. Um, independently, I can get it to run in any in a uh, specific way so I can get it to run as a uh, continuous relay a uh, continuous servo or I can get it to run as a control service in EZB or I can get it to run via the uh, PlayStation 4 trying to get it to consistently run under all those different conditions is, is what's causing me a few issues the motors are fine the uh, uh, running the actual wheels that's all right so but I'm, I'm, I'm working on it uh, I've just changed a few things um, which I'll go into later, but I've, um, I've, I've done a little bit of tweaks on a few bits and pieces. But uh, I've also done, uh, you probably recognise this, this is uh, Ebel's um, battery stand, which I printed um, over the weekend because the batteries were lying around. I'm still running, you can probably see I'm just connecting it at uh, um, uh, 12 volts, I haven't got it connected up. It's just slotted in there. I put connectors on so I've, I've uh, done a bit more wiring actually basically to get the, the whole thing a bit simpler to uh, plug up and everything. Uh, so that, that's a really good stand actually this is really nice. It's designed to take three batteries which is why I've, um, I've actually gaffer taped it in, in the middle there so they these just sit in the middle there. Um, that's that done. Um, I've got uh, um, that's pretty much what I've done there actually. I'll just show you what's going on on the uh, on the printer actually. You may or not just zoom in there. You may or may not recognise what that is. And once I've printed it, I'll uh, show you. It's got nothing to do with this project. It's just a little side project going on there. Um, so that's uh, what I've done at the weekend. <laughs>